Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Today we're going to be looking at some new cards which have been introduced within the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Jewels structure deck. These are all based on psychic type support. Omega Gitana the Supreme Shining Superstar is a level 9 dark attribute Omega Psychic Fusion effect monster with 2900 attack and 2000 defense. The materials required are Prima Gitana the Shining Superstar and Ama Lilith. The requirement is you activate this by sending the top card of your deck to the graveyard and the choice of effects are either this card gains a thousand attack times the number of monsters on your opponent's field until the end of the turn during this turn this card cannot be destroyed by the effects of your opponent's trap cards or choose and destroy one spell or trap card on your opponent's field the summoning requirement of this is very specific because you do need two very specifically named monsters but it does have 2900 attack points making it one of the highest attack monsters for a level 9. It is a fusion but you've got to consider that the requirement only requires you to send the top card of the deck to the graveyard. It's a very minimal cost. The effect I prefer is the first part of the effect which boosts your attack points times the number of monsters on your opponent's field. So if they have three monsters on their field this card would become a 5900 attack monster. By that definition you'd probably be able to destroy your opponent in that turn. It also grants it with immunity from traps for the duration. I I wouldn't really go for the second option to destroy spell and trap cards unless there really isn't much of a choice if your opponent has something in defense mode your opponent has back row because this can I'm assuming only be used during the turn it's summoned. Princess Omega the Supreme Shining Superstar is a level 9 light attribute Omega Psychic Fusion effect monster. It has 2900 attack points and 2000 defense points and the materials are also a Prima Gitana the Shining Superstar and an Ama Lilith. The requirements it doesn't have any and the choice of effects are either to change the battle positions of all monsters on the field then you can choose one face up monster on your opponent's field and have it lose 800 attack times the number of monsters you control or to choose up to seven cards from your opponent's graveyard and shuffle them back into the deck this has the same exact stat lineup as the previous monster and requires the same fusion materials the requirement since it doesn't have any there is no cost to use the effect the first effect basically changes all the battle positions it masks adapts the board and you can choose one of your face up monsters your opponent controls and have it lose up to 2400 attack points assuming you've got three monsters already on your field. It's advisable to use against highly defensive decks because they will be forced into a situation where potentially their monsters become zero attack points and you can do the maximum amount of damage. I wouldn't really go with the secondary effect unless they are heavily reliant on their graveyard simply because the first one kind of beats out the second. Prima Gitana the the Shining Superstar is a light attribute psychic type level 7 with 2200 attack and 0 defense. The requirement is to pay 1000 life points and the effect all face up monsters on your field gain attack equal to the number of monsters on your opponent's field times 300 until the end of this turn. Potentially if your opponent has 3 monsters on their field they do have to all be face up monsters for you to trigger off this effect. This could become a 3100 attack monster and considering the amount of damage you can do that's an additional 900 points per monster that you have so you could build up to an extra 2700 attack points in damage than you would previously without this effect. AI Bear Can is a level 1 light attribute psychic type effect monster with 600 attack and 600 defense. The requirement you can activate this during this turn this card is normal summoned. The effect is to choose one Can D or Amma Lilith in your graveyard and special summon it to your field face up but during this turn monsters you control cannot attack except Omega Psychic or Psychic Monster. Monsters. The purpose of this card is both Candy or Amma and Amalim are used as fusion materials for certain monsters. So in summoning those cards, you're then able to go into those fusions. The restriction on this isn't that big of a deal since all of your monsters are going to be either the Omega Psychics, which are the most powerful, they tend to be your fusion monsters, or Psychic monsters, which you're running generally. The requirement does need you to use it on the turn that it has been normal summoned, so there is a limitation to it, but I don't think it's that much of a downside since you're going to be running a near enough pure build. Amma Lilith is a level 2 dark attribute Psychic type normal monster with 400 attack and defense. A girl who plays with feelings 
as she likes. Her most cherished feelings will never fade away. This is one of the two key cards used within the fusions. Can D is a light attribute psychic type normal monster. It's a level one with 100 attack and 100 defense. Carrying infinite potential, she continues to chase her shining dream with a smile on her face. This is the second requirement for some of the fusions. Psychic Omega Blast is a normal spell card with the requirement if there are two or more face up monsters your opponent control, you can activate this by shuffling four psychic monsters from your graveyard back into the deck. The effect is to choose and destroy the monster on your opponent's field with the lowest attack. If there is a face up Omega Psychic monster on your field, also inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the monster destroyed by this effect. The requirement itself isn't too difficult, but it does have some conditions on it. Your opponent does have to have two or more face up monsters and you need to be shuffling back four psychic type monsters. So this is more effective and more likely to activate longer in the duel than say the beginning where you don't have much of a setup. The effect to be able to just wipe out one of your opponent's monsters is quite limited since it has to be the lowest attack monster unless you happen to wipe out their other monsters and then leave only the one monster in that argument that does become the lowest attack monster and if you happen to have an face up omega psychic monster it also does the burn damage on top of that so you can think of it a bit like a ring of destruction effect. It's quite decent but I think it does need a bit of tweaking or at least you need to have things that will speed up the activation of the card. Featuring Omega is a normal trap card with the requirement when your opponent special summons a monster you can activate this. The effect is to choose one face up Omega psychic or psychic type monster on your field. It gains 1200 attack until the end of the turn. If the chosen monster is level 9 during this turn that monster cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effects. This is in response to when your opponent special summons so if they're special summoning something quite deadly and threatening then actually this is a good way of protecting your psychic type monsters. It gives them 1200 attack points which to my memory is one of the highest increases Rush Jules has seen so far and on the plus side I think the Omega psychic monsters are all level 9 so far in which case if that happens to be chosen as part of this effect you do have that protection from being destroyed by battle or card effects for the duration of the turn. That's very decent considering you don't get that much protection yet in Rush Jules. Overall I I would say featuring Omega is my favorite card but I don't think there's anything out of here that is that bad. Most of them have their requirements somewhere along the line but obviously the fusions are quite devastating and I'd love to see what they're going to plan on doing in the future with psychic types and the brand new Omega psychic type fusion monsters. Whatever you think I'd love to hear those in the comments section down below and make sure to click into the end screen to watch another video. This will be covering some more cards within Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Dolls.